Hey guys, Labard 98 here, and I'm bringing you today Men in Black, the video game, which is going to be the tie-in game for Men in Black 3, uh, which is going to be in theaters in May, which is this month. Uh, this game's going to be released on the 22nd. Uh, anyway, I got this demo uh, with my Blu-ray, which I purchased today, of Men in Black 2. I also purchased Men in Black, the original. Uh, mainly because you get a free movie ticket with each uh, Blu-ray, so uh, which is pretty cool. If you're planning to go see the movie anyway, you essentially get the Blu-ray, each Blu-ray for approximately five to you know six dollars or so when the uh, taxes and all that are, are factored in. Uh, so pretty sweet deal. Anyways, I noticed that this had a demo uh, for the. Uh, Men in Black game again only on Men in Black only on the Men in Black 2 Blu-ray I have no clue what kind of game this is going to be uh, apart from I think that we is supposed to have like some on rails thing so maybe this is it uh, I noticed at the start uh, you know during all the initial credits and stuff that they actually showed roof support so I can only assume that it's an on rails type of uh, game anyways let's see how this is I don't have no, how, no idea how to freaking shoot. R1 doesn't work. Oh, okay, so uh, R2 shoots. And uh, yeah, it definitely feels like an on rail type of game because uh, I can't go forward or backwards, I can only go left and right. So we got some. Uh, Cut something over there. Uh, I don't know if you can change guns. Oh. So you can change guns with the typical uh, shooter stuff uh, using the diagonal button. So what's this? Okay, you hold it. That's kind of cool. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? What's this? Okay, that's the... Okay. So you seem to have some uh, pretty cool looking weapons here. I'm sure this would be a lot better if you have the move. I don't know if they're gonna have connect support for Xbox. Uh, I would assume they will. I mean, if you're gonna have moves uh, and, and on the lead, then I don't see why you would have, uh, or you wouldn't have connect support, uh, except for maybe the fact that this is a Sony product. So, I mean, who knows? So it seems the only thing you're doing here is basically just going left to right and uh, trying to do what I didn't do there, which was uh, dodge. Okay, so that's kind of like a shotgun. Uh, so far, initial impressions, I'm not all that impressed. I was expecting, I'll be, I'll be honest, I didn't know what to expect, but I, I was expecting perhaps a third person shooter. You know, your typical maybe Gears of War type of game gameplay with more of a comedic edge to it. Uh, but uh, definitely wasn't expecting this. Now, I mean, I don't know. Uh, actually, okay, he's got a hole in his hand. Seems to be pretty straightforward. Like, I don't know how the actual game's gonna be, but I mean, if I had to base it solely on this demo. I don't think I'm going to be buying it. And, uh, I mean, to be fair, I'm not really against, uh, you know, against on-rail shooters. But, uh, I mean, I, I absolutely love the uh, Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles uh, games, so uh, I have nothing against those type of games, but I mean, this doesn't look all that impressive, especially considering it's on the PlayStation 3. 
I mean, I hope that this is a real shooter game because the graphics are at not all that impressive. Like, I don't know if we're just simply doing this for the, uh, you know, the boss battle or whatever. Well, that seemed to be hit. I don't know if this is the end of the demo. Most likely will be. And that's what they're going to notice, too. It's like, you're not playing as J or K. You know, like the, the Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones characters. Uh, maybe they're trying to go more for a, a Ghostbusters the video game feel where you're a recruit. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, overall, not all that impressive with this game. Uh, you know, it is a demo. Past judgment, as you will. I can tell you right now, I won't be buying it. Uh, definitely gonna go see Men in Black 3, though. Uh, anyway, this is LeBurn98 signing off, and take care, guys. See ya. Bye.